But just to start, I just wanted to say a few things about some data analysis tools um, so you guys have some ideas for where to start. So starting with data storage, um, SQL databases can be really powerful, and we're going to talk a little bit about those. How many people have, have used SQL databases? Oh, well, we have quite a few people who have. Okay. Um, and you can also do a lot with Google Docs. Google Docs is incredibly flexible. It's maybe not the best tool for all of these things, but you can create forms, you can create all these ways to sort of validate input and make sure that input is controlled and you can share it with people, limit things. So as much as, as it may be better to use something like a SQL database, if the organization doesn't have the sort of support to do that, there's a lot you can do with Google Docs or Excel. Um, this is just kind of a, a list of, of data manipulation tools for taking data and working with it at the data dive. How many people are comfortable using a statistics package like R, SPSS? Okay, so a good number. And so, it's, and these are not, you know, things. Uh, you should remember that the data dive is a collaborative thing. So not everyone has to be an expert at R or an expert at SPSS. So you should you should find your friends who know how to use these tools, and then at the data dive, run over and ask them to help you when you get to this part. It's maybe the most efficient thing. Um, there's a lot you can do with Excel and a text editor. Like, you can get really creative with find and replace and sorting in Excel, and, and you can do a fair bit of manipulation just, just in, in that method to, to sort of move data around. And then also, how many people know a, like a scripting language, like Perl or Python? Okay, we have a fair number of people, so that's a really good tool for taking data that's in one format and aggregating it and disaggregating it um, and cleaning things automatically. And then I, I haven't used Google or Find or Fusion Tables very much. Are, do people use these? I think at the last data dive, a lot of people were really into Fusion Tables. Many, Many eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm not super familiar with those, but these can be, can be, I think, good tools, although I think they do have some limitations in the ways that they try to force you to, to sort of work with data in a, in a certain way. Um, and I think the most important thing when you're thinking about data manipulation and, and trying to get data to do something is to, to not be limited by the tool. Don't like pick a piece of technology and then say, what can you do? Look at the data and think about what you want the data to be and then go and find either a person who knows how to use a tool or a tool that's better. Um, for data analysis and visualization, I put up uh, statistical packages again, Excel. Um, you might be working with some geographic data, in which case ArcGIS is. Does anyone use ArcGIS here, Nikki? Mm -hmm. So um, ArcGIS has a, a pretty, oops, has a, a relatively steep learning curve, but in the Clark Library, we do a lot of GIS consulting. So if you know you're going to have some geographic data that you're working with, um, feel free to shoot me an email and we could, could talk about what's possible in GIS. Um, and then just one reminder sort of from the last data jam is that it's good if you can help people like create the data, create the chart, create the analysis that they want to create. But what's going to be much more important for an organization is if you can create a process to continually do that. So you can make one chart for them, and that's going to help them for this quarterly report or for this you know, yearly report or something like that. But if you have a way that you can create a process that's updatable and implementable based on their sort of needs and their, um, their resources, that will go significantly further than just creating sort of a one-time data report. So try to really think about the ways in which you can create something that, that sort of keeps on, on giving in a certain sense. 